I guess in this video I am going to discuss about different states of SQL Server databases. So some database online, offline, recovery, mode, suspect and emergency. So I am going to write as the query how to display different states of SQL Server database. So I am going to use uh, system uh, sys databases. So here you can find name ID, DBID, SID, status, reserved, created, all those things. Now here after let's copy that one and paste it down. Now here let's remove extra. So add here first going to use add here server name. So by using this we can or display server name add here. So server name of your like Lenovo PC SQL server. So this will display. Now here after let's give alias so as here. So this is for server name. Now here after going to use add your name. So this will display add your name of the databases. Now here after I'm going to use data. So add here there is one point to database of pro per ex. So by using this is a built-in function. So it accept add here two parameters. So by using this, so it returned current setting of a specified database option of property. So this is the use of database property ex. Now here, so we need to uh, uh, give two parameters. So add here first I'm going to write add here database name. So see add here, this is accepting database name and here property name backer. And here it returned SQL variant. So database add here name, name going to give. Now here after let's use add here. This is for recovery. Recovery and here. So this going to use alias recovery underscore md. Recovery md. Now here after let's use database property ex and your name going to use again now here after so next i'm going to use for add your status so going to use so gonna display add here the status of the database add here db status going to use alias db underscore status so it comes from so it will come from database. Now if you execute here this query. So see at here this is the server name. It's a display name that is for database. So if you, you can try to add here name. So by using name, so it will display all the database add here. Now here recovery MD. So it's a display simple, simple, full, simple. And here TBS status online. And here you can find suspect online and here. Next is emergency add here. This is a display. So if you click on plus here, you can find so Adam 3. So Adam 3, this is the offline. So here this is written add here. This is the offline. And here uh, one database dash. This is the emergency mode. So here this is the emergency mode. So by using writing this query, so we can display the status of different status of database add here. So here I'm using one important thing. So database property ex. So at here when you try it, or select and here data base property ex. So this is the built-in function. So at here first. So at here first add a database name. You can include at here name of any database name. So going to use at here database name Adam. Okay, database name Adam. Now here, I'm going to check at here is. Let's write is auto shrink. Auto shrink. Now close that. So if you execute to this query, so Adam database. Here you can find Adam database. So here, if you go on properties now here you go option so here auto sync is the false so when that it's true 
So first I'm going to check with false. So add here Adam is auto sync. So it's false. So this return add here zero. So it's a returning zero. When I make that add here auto sync true. Now execute once again. So this time this is a returning one. So add here our oh, database property ex. So it accept two parameter. And here we have to give name or give the database name. So according to given this value, so the output display. So add here name and recovery. So this will display recovery on the database. And here this will display a status on the database. So this is the important or built-in function database property ex. So this is the query to display a status of or database here. So this is the online. So by default, when you create any database, so it's online. And here, when you do some modification on the database here, so this will suspect and here some sort of offline and here emergency mode. So I hope guys, this video is the helpful for you to create how to check which database uh, status of database. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.